Hi, I'm Ish Monroe here to talk to you about Ish's Poppin' Fatty. You know, it's my new frog by Snag Proof. You know, with the Poppin' Fatty, I designed an actual popping frog. You know, there's a lot of other frogs out there that call themselves poppers, but they're more actually better for walking. My frog is actually better for popping. When we designed this frog, we designed it to be the best hookup gear ratio, the most action, the loudest popping frog on the market. You know, the great thing about this is you can pull it right out of the package, tie it on, throw it, and immediately start catching fish. You know, another thing that's different about my popping frog is that what it'll actually do is spray water on top of matted vegetation. No other popping frog's been able to do that. You know, you throw it on matted vegetation and it rolls. But with my uh, popping fatty, it doesn't roll. It actually sprays the water, sort of like a popper would or like a Rico maybe. And man, you get some explosive strikes on this thing. Sometimes I feel like the harder you pop it, the harder they're gonna explode on it. So go out and check out this just popping fatty. And let me show you how I work it. You know, there's many different ways that you can actually fish the uh, popping fat frog. The one thing when I did it is when I designed it is I designed it to be able to throw out there, even in open water, and just pop it. And what it does is when it pops, it's just going to make a big bloosh, bloosh, and it's going to spray water and look like an injured bait fish. Now, the one thing when you're doing when you're popping it is you basically just want to pull it. And when you pull it, it sprays water more. Or if you pop it, it's just going to make a bloop, bloop, bloop. So, you know, there's definitely different ways to fish it. This is a prime example on how I'm fishing this. When you think of a popper, you're thinking of little short pops like that. I mean, you're moving it two to three inches. My popper is designed to have a lot of movement to it, especially with the braided line. You know, I'm pulling this thing six, eight, 10 inches, sometimes even 12 inches when I really want to get it really erratic out there. I mean, I've had it where I've pulled it really hard and it just sprays a lot of water and these fish come up and explode on this thing. You know, I was fishing a tournament this year on the Potomac River where the fish were actually eating it, you know, if I popped it, small pops, or if even I jerked it really hard, it just seemed like the harder I jerked it, the bigger the explosions were. And when those bigger explosions like that, sometimes they seem to just get it really good down their throat and they're really aggressive on it. Plus it makes them come back. You know, if I'm out there popping it and one blows up on it, then I might, you know, slow it down and make little pops with it just to see if he'll come back. But if he doesn't, I'm gonna start popping it again. Like I said, six, eight, 10, sometimes even 12 inches of rod movement when I'm fishing this bait to get it to have a lot of noise to it. So that's what you get when you're fishing in open water. Now you take it and you get it in pockets and what you can do is you can take this bait and you can cast it into a little pocket like so and then you just pop it in the pocket and it'll spray water in the pocket and let it sit and wait for those big explosions to come up there. Or you get it on matted vegetation and you can get it to push on the matted vegetation as well. And that's what the fish, you know, sometimes on those bright sunny days they're sitting under that deep matted vegetation they'll come up and explode there through it or you know you get those high skies or even on those windy days you can fish it in open water you know that's the great part about Isha's Papa Fatty is that you can actually fish a frog now in those windier overcast days when they don't normally may not eat a frog just because of the wind so you get a lot of action out of it, you get a lot of noise out of it, and you get explosive strikes out of it. So check out It's Just Poppin' Fatty. All right, let me talk to you about colors. You know, I get asked this all the time, Ish, what's your favorite color? I really don't have one. You know, in Ish's Papa's Fatty, I came out with six colors to start out with. I came out with Papa Midnight, I came out with Sexy Ish, I came out with The Man, which is my white frog. Those are my first three choices. I also did Cali, because the California guys, they definitely have to have that. You know, I did also Crystal, which is my clear frog. You know, the clear frog is you can paint it any color you want, or if you're looking for something very shatty, you definitely go with crystal on that but then last but not least I came out with sticky green which is another bluegill color so if you're looking for bluegill colors you go with sexy ish or you go with sticky green if you're fishing in you know dark days I definitely go with Papa midnight you know and then on the, the brighter sunny days I definitely like to go to crystal or the man of course and the man is the man just because it is probably the number one frog that I've caught more big fish on than anything else and that's the solid white frog and then you can't forget about Cali when you're looking for the black and yellow you know everybody's heard it black and yellow black and yellow so definitely check out all the colors in the issues popping fatty and you will definitely catch more fish